hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel 9 e-commerce series so now guys in this video we are going to learn about the events okay so what events that is nothing but event listener in live wire okay so here is the documentation for events guys that is your firing events and listening that events so we will be using this event while we are adding the wish list item or removing the wish list item so here you see that wish list is zero right now but you can see there are two items added in your wish list right so it should show two okay let's get back to the code on this remove button okay this is my wish list and here is our remove heading and this is our remove button guys so first up guys let's create a live wire component which means like controller and the one blade view so let's open our terminal and create the component guys php artisan make colon live wire inside front end folder forward slash wish list count okay why we are adding this count because we are going to make a wish list count so hit enter you see that class and view is created so live wire component is created let's go on the top here you see that live wire front end the wish list count okay so first step guys let's create one variable so public dollar wish list count semicolon and this wish list we are going to send here and get all the wish list count so for that guys let us create one function keep it separate and then get the data so let's create one function with the name check wish list count function we are not passing any arguments let's remove that types and now guys first step let's check if it is authenticated or not so just add auth check function and import this auth class guys so here the class is imported you if you don't have import class please type it and now let's return to dollar this of your wish list count is equal to your wish list model colon colon user where condition to find the username authenticated user products so user underscore id not the name it's id authenticated user id and get all the count of it all set guys so once you get the count you are storing in this variable okay so if you don't have like if you are not authenticated so at that time at least you should show zero right so let's add that zero over here and now you get either the total of your wish list of that authenticated user or else you get the zero data perfect so now guys let's send this in the render blade file okay liveware blade file so first step here we will create a variable of wish list count let me copy the same name and send that and now guys let's move to this view okay so which is the blade.php of live wire so let's copy this and go to this blade file so here we move and remove this just add double curly brace and print that variable that's it and now guys let us just add d inline bootstrap class to make it display inline and now let's get back to our controller that is live wire controller and where we want to show this data so we want to show on the nav bar of this wish list so guys for that let's move to the nav bar first where is the nav bar blade.php here and here is our nav bar list okay link menu link so instead of zero remove this zero and just add the live wire component let me copy that live wire path where is it here so you can just take a hint copy this get back 
and paste that open tag close and close the tag and here let's remove and just add colon li live wire colon and then your front end wish list count that's it guys and now this will go to your blade file here you get the data you get here you are going to print in that navbar as simple so now let's get back and see so refresh we should get two items of wish list so we are getting null over here why let's just check that get to your live wire wish list count so you can see guys we are not calling this function itself so let's call that dollar this of your function name so where are you going to store that inside this variable dollar this of this list count equal to you are storing that data whatever you are returning it so you are storing in this wish list count as simple now guys you need to import this class once let's import this wish list so it's imported and now guys let's refresh and check so refresh once again you get your data wish list too perfect so now guys um let me copy this and go to incognito mode and check here so you see that it's zero because you are not logged in so you are not authenticated user it's showing the data zero if you are logged in then you will be seeing that you have two wish list items whoever adds it okay perfect so now guys when i click remove this by default it should update this okay so that is where we are going to the user event listener so first step guys let's see on this event firing events okay so when you click this we have to fire some event right so for that you can we are going to fire from the component so let's click on this fire component here is your firing events and here you fire this component okay so let's copy this first step let's go to this remove button this list show and this is my remove button and on this button click we are going to remove this list item function so let's move to that controller so where is it wish list show dot php live wire controller let me show you in the sidebar so here is my live wire front end wish list show and this is my function name so guys now after this message or before the message you can just fire this event using like let's change this to wish list added or updated whatever it happened anything like if you are removing or adding the wish list it should fire this event okay all set so now guys let's copy this event name and get back to the wish list count dot php live wire component okay so here let me paste that and comment it let's get back to the documentation so here let's see that event listener if you're firing the event we need to listen the event okay so event listener there are many methods you can see but let's go with the first method itself so we will copy this and get back we'll paste it so this is your by default live wire listener let's copy this name and paste here so on this event if anyone emits the event we need to listen some function so we are already creating this function name oops i have a spelling mistake here so let's tell check and let's update here also and get back okay check wish list count as simple guys now these three variables are correct now you can remove this so whenever the target is done let me close this where is the wish list show so here whenever this emits it will call that listener so now guys let's get back and refresh so now let's click on remove to see that 
it automatically changes. We are not going to refresh the page. It will automatically update that. So let's click on this second. Removing, removed, and here you see it will update automatically. That is one without the page load. Perfect. So same process, guys. When you are adding the product, let me just add the product and show you that by default it should update also. Let's go to product view product so when you click on add to wish list the wish list should be incremented automatically so for that guys you need to go to this wish list add to wish list button and emit that event you need to move on this product view of live wire component let's go to the resource resource views and you move to the live wire front end product and this is your view product so here is our add to wish list button so which goes to your product view okay so this is your product view front end product view so same path will be called in your live wire component also front end product view all set so here guys you will be seeing that add to wish list function where is that button let me check this is add to wish list so same you have the add to wish list button so on this when you are adding the wish list or creating the wish list we have to fire the event so for that guys let us dollar this of emit function what is the you have to fire that event let me go to wish list show and we are already firing this right let's copy that and paste here let's add this now the event will be fired as simple now guys you can add to wish list and it will increment it to two let's add to wish list here you see wish list added and it's incremented to two perfect so it it's not incremented it's giving the count of your total added items in your wish list perfect so now guys we have successfully completed about the fire events or listening the events in livewire component so guys in this video that's it and let's continue next video with new topic so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share